music has been a part of, I think, every religion that I know of because it imparts a euphoric sense of group togetherness. Despite the genre, despite the cultural context, uh, you know, it's something we do that, uh, as far as we know, only we do, and that's how we know how to recon recognize each other as human beings <laughs> to that uh, highest degree. It's something that you feel with your body and, and you, you know, you hear words and you relate to the music behind it and I don't know, it's just, it's like a sensory experience that, that causes you to become completely enmeshed in, in what's going on around you, just taking it all in. Idlewise is kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's, it is the center of attention currently. It's an oasis. Music like What Fest is a vibe people will pick up on if they choose to listen. Music is not made of money, is not owned, and music is felt by all who attend to its vibe. Likewise, What Fest is not made of money, it is not owned, and What Fest is felt by all who attend to its vibe. I think that music gives people something that they're lacking in their lives at the time, whether it be hope or happiness or expressing frustration in, in times of trouble and people feel a release of some kind with music and some freedom to be themselves and to enjoy something that speaks to them. It's about the open space and not only did you see performers who were listed on the bill for the What Fest, but there was a constant stream of music and people came to just relay that music to other people and have a good time with one another. If you were to ask me, what is What Fest? My reply would be adventure. It grew from a homegrown grassroots effort by a few musicians and artists up in northern Wyoming who had a dream to come together to make a festival out of nothing. What fest is what you make of it, and it will be remembered. There's just this family of people, um, which is my Patty family, and super tight, and I know if I ever need anything in the world, music related or otherwise, I have like this incredible support network, which is my band. And I think that's what makes the music as tight as it is too, is our relationship with one another. I mean, we genuinely like love playing music together, love hanging out together. You can't just write a song, you have to like own up to it every time you play it live. There's awesome emotional connection between the audience and, and performers. So Sting always says, leave the audience with a sweet song but I get the feeling that y'all want a rowdy one. So all right, I got a rowdy one. This song's for any of you that have been having a hard time, any kind of a hard time. And this is a sing-along, I'll tell you what to do. All right, but I need to feel that you feel it, okay? That's the requisite. This is for anybody who's tired of getting by, just wants to get down. Just 
feel like singing or what? Yeah? All right, here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna say I'm tired of getting by, and you're gonna sing it back to me like you goddamn mean it. Okay? Let's try this out. You ready, boys? Let's try it out. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm tired of getting by. I'm tired of getting by. I just love this festival. What Fest is really an awesome thing. It's one of the, I think, one of the great Wyoming events. I mean, I've played solo for years. With the band, there's a huge energy that you just can't make solo. And uh, you th when you feed that energy to the crowd and it comes back to you, um, it just, it's just a really exciting thing. It's a lot of fun. This is a younger audience, it's a pretty young audience here at the, at the What Fest, although I certainly see some older folks, uh, which surprises me a little bit. I play a lot of different kinds of music, you know, and because that's economic, you know, as a bass player, I want to be able to come in and relate to whatever gig is paying me to play, you know, and I mean, so that's why, it's probably the main reason I went to music school and learned to read and all that stuff, so I can, you can read a gig down, you know, you're, your horizons expand appreciably. You know, the fan shows are my favorite uh, because I, that's when I think we're really being ourselves, you know, the most when we're playing places like the What Fest here in Clark, Wyoming. Jalon 
is a complicated character. He's lived in the same small town all his life, but he's traveled all over the world with his guitar and or banjo, and is a observant songwriter. He writes about people that he knows or situations that he's heard of and, and is in rural America. It's growing. This thing is growing and it's going to be more and more fun every year. Georgia, I wanna go back to Tennessee. Way down Columbus Stockade, my friends are turn their backs on me. Your max in your heart, you love enough.